Okay, this is a video for, happy Friday by the way, this is a video for the Symphonium Titan. It is a bass leaning set. If you are a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and comment below to get a Cinco Trace. It's not a Sinoco Trace, Cinco Trace. Um, somebody won this already, didn't get in touch with me. I just checked today and it's been a long time, so they're out. I think the problem is that people aren't paying attention to the unboxing channel, which is where I make announcements, including today for one of my um, collaborations will be given away on that so if you're missing out on that also if you send a mail to me and you're sending it to the one that I said to don't worry if I don't reply to you I was sick this week um, it just I just need it to be within seven days there not like if I don't reply to you you're gonna get cut out that would be really really dick um, I'd like you to I'm gonna do a demonstration that's very relevant to this and I also like doing this kind of stuff because I'm I'm in the base and you're gonna notice my boom box which I cut cut open you can see low pass filter on the bottom right you can't see the amp because it's behind the customized put in um, passive radiator which is 12 inches and the two on the side so my boom box is quite a thing I connected to this speaker right here um a 10 inch jail audio which i placed on the table and then i put the edifier puck remote control next to it and then show how energy from a low frequency driver can easily pass through a material um and to another one and the connection being that a driver like this one very very small that's literally the same as in the titan and in the fat frequency i believe about 10 millimeters it might be eight in the symphonium actually um that that common surface area for you would be the plastic because the driver is touching the plastic or the metal and it's also touching your ear so that material that's between the driver and your ear and skin not not the nozzle we're not talking about that we're talking about energy and its transfer and how it, how it can or can't um if it's able to transfer you're able to feel it in your ear which not in your not in your ear hole in in your ear canal I mean the whole part of the area in your ear that the earphone is touching there's potential there or it's not because of the density of the material that's used and the set that we're talking about today has a metal shell and that's impacting it and the set that we are going to compare it with is using a resin shell and that has a different experience and I think that makes sense to you but to go ahead and show that turn down your headphones please three two one okay since I do bass let's check this out that's the low pass filter right inside there and now we're back and what we just saw was the uh, tendon driver that's designed because of its impedance um, for car audio and it was doing a 55 Hertz tone connected to my boom box um, which has a low pass filter on it and anyway it's a tone and it was doing some work but I had it at low volume so I wouldn't distract and annoy my neighbors and stimulate the dog that gets very easily stimulated but it still made this edifier puck dance across the table because the common thing between the puck and the driver was the surface they were both touching which was the table which is made out of wood I could have shake I could shake everything on my table and I would definitely not want to shake the mounts inside my PC water cooled and all that so I did that at a lower volume but it's enough for you to see that the material that you can transfer the energy of low frequency through a common medium so on an earphone it would be the drivers in the shell and that shells touching your ear the common thing being the shell your ear is touching it and the driver is touching it energy being passed from the driver to your ear there's potential for that to happen depending on the material that's used I'll talk about that at the end of the video put up the ranking just in case <coughs> I'm going to show the frequency graph and I think that this is not really telling the story the bass looks much more prominent or significantly prominent on the Scarlet Mini though I don't think it sounds a lot bassier than the Titan the difference on this is more in the upper mids and the graph doesn't show that this set has a lot of energy in the upper mids relative to what the graph would make me expect when I first heard it before I graphed it I thought it and then I graphed it I thought that doesn't really make sense if you turn up the Titan 
you will immediately be met with a lot of energy in areas where mm, guitars, hi-hats, cymbals, um, vocals all exist, are become much more present very quickly. It was very interesting, and I don't know if it's related to, again, the show material, but it's definitely something there. So I don't think this graph really tells... I think the bass is quite similar to the Scarlet Mini, but I think that the upper mids and the getting close to the treble is m more present there. Let's talk about music. I think that Kill Jill, um, Big Boy, the triple drop, 38 hertz, I think that all sounds good. I think it does hip hop well. I'm listening to Ice Cube right now, which has been what I've been doing li recently. I just got through, I can't say it on this platform, <coughs> for the second time. These thoughts were done earlier when I did that demonstration, which was about 10 days ago. Um, so it does it does hip hop well, it, with energy. The Vocaloid Hatsune Miku at the beginning is, is pronounced. The four string bass guitars um, on Please Do Not Go, the pulls, the release, the snaps all sound pretty good. The ringing of the strings is, I think, impacted by the elevation of the bass, elevation of the bass, but that happens with all sets that are boosted up like this. Bonham's kick drum sounds fantastic. That is boom, shh, to boom, boom, boom. That's right there. Um, we get into vocals. Chris Cornell, Lane Staley, Blondie, all of them are exhibiting the same thing that happens when you have a lot of bass. You are going to husk up male vocals, which you might be fine with. Female vocals, I'm not even fine with that. I think most people aren't. So this wouldn't be a set that I think is aimed at people that are listening to female-centric libraries. That seems to be almost a meme nowadays because people say it so much, but if you play around with it enough, mid bass and female vocals, not a lot of room. Males, I, you know, you could start thinking they're throaty or deeper voiced um, before you give up on it. But females seem to have like no flexibility. So this wouldn't be a set that I would say female vocal centric libraries would really want to go grabbing. I just, unless there's a, a, a genre where that's female vocals are a lot and there's lots of lots of low frequency going on at the same time which means that it's part of the basic mix then I guess this would be something you would be looking for the fat frequency would fall there too because of all of the elevated bass as we get into the upper mids and treble cymbals, hi-hats, um, vocals guitars, electric and acoustic they all sound very much there more than the graph would indicate and if you again if you want to turn this up you're going to be met with that being increased immediately. And you think, well, of course, because when you turn up the volume, you're just lifting up that whole thing. Yeah, this kicks in right away, where on the other set, the the fat frequency doesn't sound like quite that. Um, like high volume listening, I don't think that's the Titans thing. I think this would be mid to low volume. Um, I'm going to score this, but before I do, I'm going to explain the demonstration, what, what I think that is related to this <coughs> going back to 2014 or 13 or 12 a guy named Dale Lott released some earphones from a company called Arsonics that was bought by Fender and his thing was tons of bass and what that was turned out was that you could get it vibrating in your ear which was an amazing experience because that uh, it's like a gimmick for some companies, but this was actually like monitors with tons of bass. And you look at the graph, and you think you can't monitor with that. Mm, bass is good, and like people could, um, but he was a professional. He was bought by a guitar company, um, and they toned it down a little bit. But that set, the EX800 ST, which is plastic, unlike the 1000, which is I think a graphite part of it anyway. Um, that also with EQ and bass boost can transfer energy to your ear. There are several sets, including the Scarlet Mini, that when they're boosted up a lot, um, or the Scarlet Mini in its stock form, deep bass hits, will you can feel it vibrate in your ear, which is unique to low frequency because mids and high frequencies don't transfer energy in that way, that you can feel it through your solar plexus or even through your ears. The Titan by Symphonium is in a metal shell. And that is taking a driver that is this big and putting it in a steel box and the ability for that to get significant drops and transfer the energy not just through the nozzle but through the body to your ear, which call everything outside of the skull to pina area, is really impossible. It doesn't happen with the Storm and it doesn't happen with this set. It does happen with the Scarlet Mini. And, but I have a, a relationship with fat frequency that goes back longer 
and I'm connected them with a possible collaboration in the future. So I want to fully disclose that. But for people that are into base IEMs, you can skip over that because the demonstration I just showed is relative to the discussion. The Scarlet Mini in my ear with Ra by Lil Wayne, Rick Ross remix, which you can check on YouTube, I can feel, not hear, I can feel the vibration of that drop through my ear. Adjusted, which is why these two cables are plugged into this Head Amp Pro 6. I put a lot of work into this, you guys. I really do. That, at the same output, doesn't put out any feeling whatsoever. And if I put it on a measurement tool, which actually, I don't know why people don't seem to think that this is such a thing. You can measure vibrations for a very long time. You can measure lots of things. Vibration is one of the easier things to measure. Consistently, to be able to be replicated consistently by your peers? No, but you can't even do that with Squig because of the differences with 7-Eleven. So if we're going to talk about it, can you replicate that in a, a accurate, consistent manner? No, you can't. You can measure it, but you probably can't do it consistently across other, but you can't do that with squig links. So let's keep it real a little bit here. That's This is just starting. Eventually we'll have a way to measure vibration through earphones. I don't think that many people are interested in it, but I'm a bass head and an audiophile, so I'm interested in that. And it's the one thing about the Titan that's its weak point. <coughs> Great set. Would recommend it for people that like um, their bass, but don't really care if they can feel it or not because maybe they've never felt that um and listen at medium volume i think if you turn this up it's going to become an issue because it gets loud quickly mm, i don't know why um i don't know if that's got something to do with the metal shell or not i'm going to be selling this to patreons on my patreon um at the end of this month so keep an eye out for that um thank you to symphonium audio for sending it out quickly i paid full retail price for this so i'm giving my honest thoughts and I paid full price um, and I can give it away if I want to but I'm not I'm gonna sell it um, on patreon so somebody's gonna enjoy this it's a good set quality is top-notch uh, it's absolutely beautiful set now rank it dumpster fire absolutely not hope it was free absolutely not coping is working I'm not coping because I know what I think I think I know what is the issue for me competes with its peers <coughs> I think the fat frequency is a couple hundred dollars cheaper, but we'll put that uh, as peers. I would say yes, it does compete with its peers. I prefer the other one. Um, but yeah, at a thousand dollars, for people that pay that kind of money, I would put this at competes with its peers. You guys have a great weekend, and I'm sorry for my voice. Um, Sinoco Trace, this really caused stress. Cinco Trace. Or something like that. It's not Sinoco Trace. Comment below. You gotta be a subscriber. Keep an eye on the unboxing channel and see if you won. And I am out. Come